Wonky horizons for DJI drone owners are the bane of our lives, but there's a really easy way to fix it. And in this video, I'll show you how. Hi, I'm Ashwin Droning On, and ever since the very first DJI drones, we've struggled with wonky horizons. Even if you calibrate the gimbal or correct it manually, in post-editing you normally have to fix that horizon to make sure that it's nice and level and usable. For many, a wonky horizon is the first thing you see when you look at drone footage, at least it is for me, and so therefore it's really important to fix that before you publish that footage. And in this video, I'll show you how. There are lots of video editors out there. I'm going to be focusing on Adobe Premiere, but in Resolve or any other editor out there, so long as you have the capabilities to simply zoom in and rotate the footage, you can get it fixed. Anyway, let's get started on fixing some horizons. Okay, so we're in Adobe Premiere at the moment, and as mentioned earlier, it doesn't really matter which video editor you're in because the concept here is exactly the same. It's also worth adding as well that on most DJI drones, there is actually the capability to adjust the gimbal tilt, the roll axis. But unfortunately, on the Mavic Air 2, right now, or at least in the DJI Go app, that feature's not there, but it is for other drones such as the Mavic 2. So the best thing to do is when you're flying, use that manual tilt adjustment to make sure that your horizon is level before you start recording. But you'll still make mistakes and occasionally you'll get back and you'll realize that you need to fix the horizon. So let's crack on and show you how. So I'm in Adobe Premiere here. I'm gonna drag my example clip into the timeline. Basically this example clip is a clip that I have um, captured intentionally with a very wonky horizon. So if I just open up this clip and play it, you can see it on the left-hand side here. Doesn't this look lovely? This is just when we visited our new house today at the building site, and I'm basically having a bit of a selfie, manually flown. The drone flies away at quite a pace in sports mode. This is the Mavic Air 2, by the way. Doesn't it look lovely until you see the horizon and that's the point at which the shot is ruined because look at that horizon it's like the world's falling down and that's what ruins a shot that's what you need to fix and if you end up with a scenario like that don't throw away the clip because it's very easy to fix so I'll show you how I've dragged that clip into my timeline here and if I scrub up and down that timeline I can see the point at which the horizon is absolutely wonky here so the first thing I'm going to do is create a new transparent video object. Now you don't have to use transparent video, you might in your other video editing applications see it called an adjustment layer. Anything's absolutely fine, but I'm going to use this one. I'm going to drag that into a video layer above my main clip here like that. And then I'm going to just expand it to the duration. The next thing I need, basically what we're first looking to achieve here is to get some guidelines. Now, can you believe it? Adobe Premiere does not have rulers or guidelines. It does have grid lines, but they are only the extents of the image, so they're not really a lot of use. What I'm gonna do now is apply an effect to that transparent video layer called grid. And you might have something similar in other applications, I really don't know, but there are other ways to achieve this, but I'll show you those in a minute. So using grid, I can drag that onto my transparent video layer, and as you'll see, I now get a lovely grid. And if I now edit that effect, I can alter the size of the grid here by changing this to the width slider instead of the default setting of corner point. So set it to width slider, and then I can adjust the width to change my grid, as you can see. So I can have a really broad, big grid or a smaller grid, and that generally would be more than enough to balance a horizon. So I'm gonna use that one for now. Now, if you're not using Adobe Premiere and you don't have this feature, let's just drag that out of the way over there. Then the other way that you can actually do this, and this isn't quite ideal, but you can drag another video clip on top of it. So for example, I'm gonna drag the same clip on top. I'm gonna to scrub to the part where my horizon is wonky. And now I can drag that second clip on top drag it down and almost use that as my ruler. So you can see I've got a clip on top of a clip. And if I drag it there, so I've aligned the right hand side of the horizon where it's level, I can see roughly how much out the horizon is in my main image. So 
I'm gonna actually, we'll stick with this concept for now because not all video editors have the grid feature. So we'll use this layer on top as our guide. What I now need to do is switch back to my layer underneath, which is this one here. And I'm now gonna, on the left-hand side, use the rotation. Now again, this is Adobe Premiere. Rotation is very easily accessible, but in other video applications, it will be pretty much the same concept. And I'm gonna rotate my layer. Now I know that I need to rotate it anti-clockwise to stabilize that horizon. So I'm gonna rotate it minus one to start with, and you can see it's coming in to alignment a little bit, but it's not quite there. So I'll rotate it again almost there, probably needs a 0.5. So I'm gonna go for minus 2.5, actually a little bit more. So I'm gonna go for minus 2.7. And that looks pretty aligned to me. So now that I've used my alignment layer here, I actually don't need it anymore. And so I can delete it to get it out of the way. And what I'm left with is my image here, which is now level. But as you can see, because I've rotated it, you can see the black borders around the edges of that image. And we can't use that, that's unusable. But there's a really, really easy fix. All we need to do is select the main layer. And again, in most applications, it'll be the same. I'm in Adobe Premiere here. I've got the option to scale. I'm gonna click there and I can use the cursor keys on my keyboard to simply zoom in the image. And what I need to do is zoom in the image until all of the black lines around the eye side have gone like that. And now, as you can see, we've got an almost stabilized image. In fact, it needs another little bit. So I'm gonna go minus 2.9, that's better. And I'm gonna zoom it in just a tiny bit more. And now that is completely level. So if I zoom out there, there you go. Look at that, perfectly level. And just to demonstrate that, if I now zoom out, you can see the amount of rotation we've put there is quite significant, and it would be very unlikely for your gimbal to be this much uncalibrated. But I have set up this clip specifically to demonstrate the fix. So again, if I just undo that, zoom right back, we've now got a perfect clip. And if I play that, as we get to the main reveal of the horizon, it's now finally level. And the effect, it's such a difference. I mean, it wouldn't just be just unusable earlier, but that's a much better result as you can see. So that's pretty much it. But what I'll do now is quickly show you with the grid feature, because that's really useful. So what I'm gonna do is reset my la layer back to how it was originally by resetting everything there and the rotation as well. There we go. So we're back to our wonky clip. If I now drag my grid layer, this is the method I would use for Premiere rather than using another layer as I demonstrated earlier. So we've got our grid here. The grid is really good. We don't need to change the grid. We know it's minus 2.7 or so, but I'm gonna select my main underlying layer. So the, the main image, I'm gonna rotate it here until my image looks like it lines up with the grid. So that's minus three. And you can see there that that is pretty much in line with the horizon. In fact, that's perfect. So what I can now do again is move my transparent layer out of the way, go back to my original layer and zoom it in Again, using the cursor keys is a really nice way to do this. Alternatively, you can use the mouse and you can scrub left and right like that. But I'm gonna scrub it in until I get all of the black gone. And there we go, we have an absolutely perfect horizon. So if you don't use Adobe Premiere, you can use the other mechanism. If you do have Adobe Premiere, then I highly recommend using the grid. It's a standard out of the box effect and just apply it to a transparent video layer and it works really, really nicely. Now, a few things to consider. Because we've zoomed in this clip 110%, so not a lot, it does mean that we will lose a little bit of resolution in the image, but it's minor. The also fact is that we're shooting this at 4K. That's a reason why it's always good to shoot footage higher than you actually intend to use it. If we were actually rendering this to 1080p, I could have shot this in 4K, and that means I've got loads of spare resolution, four times the resolution, to pan and scan and rotate and fix any wonky horizons. But to be honest, zooming in 4K at that minimal proportion really won't make any difference to the quality at all. So now that we've fixed it, we can now play our lovely clip here, and it looks like this. Yep, it's a little bit corny, I know, but it's our new house and we're really excited.
So hopefully that was useful. I did promise to bring you guys more tutorials and this is the first of many. So if you've got any special requests, comment below and I'll try and get them filmed for you and published onto the channel as soon as possible. In the meantime, go and fix those wonky horizons. Comment below with your thoughts. Give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're a bit wonky as well and click subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.